All right, this is Calvos, and this is Beyond the Skies, uh, episode three. I only remember that because I just finished episode two like a minute ago. Maybe not even that. I'm just trying to, to get a, a reasonable backlog so I can just throw them down when I need to. Oh, yeah, we're doing this. So we're going to continue going all the way around, uh, and I will show you why I'm doing this in a second. Uh, it actually has a useful purpose. The other thing I want to do is we're going to, to do this. So we're nearly done with this thing, I just need to, to finish the walls and the base, or the base of the walls. You'll see. So typically what I'll do is like so and that. Um, so that gives me enough room to stand here. This lifts me up so that everything is a convenient, you know, whacking height. But, uh, yeah, this this is the essence of the mob spawner right here. This is the, the very idea behind it. You'll notice that, uh, you know, we've got yellow X's and garbage like that. Okay. So this is a very classic design. I have been using it for years now. I have no idea where I first got it from. Uh, I may have seen uh, Direwolf 20 or Bacon Donut or, or somebody using it. Um, so one of the benefits of this design is can hit anything in there, and except for the very ends, nothing can see you. My apologies for that. I uh, think that I have neglected to take my allergy drugs, so I'll have to fix that probably between episodes. But I have, I've always had great success with this uh, design, and I'm very fond of it. Um, I don't actually even use droppers anymore, really. Um, once I can get to this here, notice how that immediately makes that, that dark enough for mobs to spawn. Um, Having access all the way around like this allows me to pick up any loot that I might want to get. So we're just going to do this. Put it up there. So I'm, uh, I'm basically just trying to make this safe enough so that I can run around the edges. Safety rails are good guys. Be an Ewok, a stormtrooper. So One of the other things I do that is completely unnecessary is I generally will put torches on the back side of this. Um, let's get this dirt. We're going to make this path wider. And one of the reasons that I put torches on the back side like that is at night, 
Um, it can be a little bit harder to it can be a little bit harder to to see uh, whether there's a mob or something in the um, oh, there we go finally if there's a, a mob in the um, mob spawner So these basically have no real use, as far as I can tell. Um, I mean, juices and stuff like that. But you can't make them into trees or anything, which is kind of annoying. So, best benefit to Tinker's Tools. You'll notice that my... Uh, my... Uh, is broken. Ta-da! Fixed. So, skeletons. So that gives us bones. Uh, that actually gives us quite a few bones. And that's pretty cool. So, next step here was is going to be We need lava. Um, we also need buckets. Now, I'm not sure. Bucket. Bucket. Clay buckets do not. Oop, clay buckets are a thing. All right. So, yeah, that's going to be helpful. So, in order to make clay, we need water. Water is not a super big deal. We can arrange for it. Uh, if it rains, it rains. Um, but we need a crucible, a wood crucible. They're pretty easy to make. We'll make two of them. We only technically needed one, but you know, all excited. Now, uh, Crucible works the same way as uh, works the same way as the uh, uh, the barrel. The difference being, instead of making dirt, it makes water. I know, I know, that's crazy. I could imagine. how way mining that doesn't give me a good chance of uh... maybe that's all in my head not take any chances. Alright. Uh Next step from here is what's in the loot bag? Oh, zombie hearts. Diamonds. And we're just powering along. Nether warts, very treasure map. That's going to be quite a while. Silkworms, apples. Zombie hearts are really cool because they can be used for uh, crafting recipes and such. Exorcism shots. Uh, and I thought... So, pretty cool. So let's cruise over here. You, sir, are not 
Hey, skeleton. Nobody likes you. But that did give a uh, skeleton. Gave us root bones. So let's put the root bones in here too. Um. New recipes unlocked. Yay. Uh, grass. So really at this point, we need to worry about making clay. We have a couple of different things that need clay. Uh, I'd also like to look into making some glass, both for decoration purposes, rare though it is, and some of the crafting recipes that are going to be coming up. Um, in order to do that, we need one of these. This is a hammer. Hammers are cool. So, this is what a hammer does. It gives us gravel. Now, getting started. Loot bag. So, wood hammer. Oh, I guess we're going to have to do one of those too. That probably means we'll have to make another stone hammer at some point. But that's fine because we will actually be using a lot of those. Oh no, no, it, it, it got it. Sweet. I like when you don't have to go back over your own work. Uh, swapping wand. Obsidian. Okay, these are all very good as far as that goes. So, bread's handy. Brass. Flint and steel. Okay, that's unimportant. Saves you from falling into the void. That That's cool. Okay, good pickle seed. So if we had 14 more of those, that'd be awesome. Um, looks like we're about the point of needing a new chest. So let's go ahead and put that one on top and just throw junk in it. I will need that. So that's cool and we're going to hang on to it because we will need this for... See if it's in here. Um. <sighs> I forget what it's called, but there's a um, it's probably not in here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it unless I see it then. But these are these are pretty cool as far as killing stuff fairly quickly. So uh, let's eat the bread. How did he get out? That's kind of a problem. If all the Endermen are a hassle. Did I mention that evolved endermen are kind of a hassle? I was... How did you get out? Oh, he must have done that. Um, I did not get any ender pearls. So let's make this path a little wider, because I'm sure that I will happily fall down. Happily. Okay, it makes the path slightly safer.
So, hammer. We'll use the wood one first. So, as I said, I need some glass. We're going to need a couple more of these. Because I will probably need lots of clay, and I don't exactly remember how many it takes. So, we'll do this. That gives us sand again. Pop the sand down. And that gives us dust. If we take dust, uh, that is a little short. If we take dust and we add it to water. Oh man, this should have been done already, but I was not paying attention. Then we have clay. So clay is pretty, pretty good stuff. We'll do this because I'm going to need another one. Uh, our other option is to do this. And like I said, we're going to need more space. So we'll, we'll figure it out. This can go here. And clay. Bucket in there. You done yet? All right. So now we can go up here. Oh my gosh, that spread straight down. I love this plan. Go up here. Kill that. We can kill that. Kill that. Now we are going to, in fact, um, be going down more levels, uh, but it's just safer not to have a giant hole in the uh, in the base because me. Give this a little area to spread on. Um, blah blah blah. So now, if we do this, guess who has infinite water? Eight. That needs another one. Of course it needs another one. Why wouldn't it need another one? So, um, yeah, I mean... This is this is pretty much the basic start for uh, uh, for most skyblocks is you know what we have just done. Um, now we're just gonna cruise over here. Finally, handle the sarcasm. So let's do this. We'll do that. I want to try and make sure not to uh, use up all of my uh, my charcoal. At some point, we will automate this slightly better. I do not know when that point will be, but that point will happen at some day. Some day. So let's go ahead and make some more clay. Now as far as fun and exciting things to do with clay, um, 
if we make some bone meal, oops, three, seven, all right, and now we have unfired porcelain. Um, and if you've if you played this game before once or twice, then you might know that that will make you a crucible. So at this point, we just need to wait for this to finish. We'll just take that out. It'll finish this one. Come on, come on. There we go. Pop that in there. Pop that in there. Also, we could be using a tiny charcoal, but I'm not as worried about tiny charcoal because the tiny charcoal still requires processing to make and I just have lots of sticks and the ability to make more sticks and more sticks beyond that without having to cook anything. So what you may ask is this for? Well, this, if I put it on top of a torch, it does not grow trees, I promise. But if I put that in there, you'll notice it is now making lava. So, even in vanilla Minecraft, you have the ability to use lava and water to make a cobble gen. Cobble gens are not terrible. Not terrible at all. Uh, so you'll notice that the first one did 250. So with a total of four cobblestone or gravel or whatever, uh, if you put that in there, it will eventually melt down. Now you'll notice this is rate times one. Crucible. Uses. Um, so, uh, a fire underneath with just with flint and steel gives you a times four. Lava gives you times three. Torches give you time one. So, if for example we get our hands on some, uh, I don't know, Netherrack, for example, and we put uh, we put fire underneath it, um, then that will that will give us the best return. Um, the best return. Some some packs actually have more. Some packs have less. Uh, but either way, it's going to take a while. So might as well go do other things, like like this. Eat. Now, if this were, for example, a Unstable too. I have no idea what that means, but it matches me. I'm pretty unstable. So, uh, if this were a Gardens of Glass mod pack, one of the things that we would have to do now, and we would still need to do this in most other mod packs, is seeds. Now, grass only comes up where you have. Um, where you, you know, do you only get the tall grass from having grass? So that's that's just kind of a thing that you're just going to have to deal with. Uh, it's pretty pretty standard vanilla, and it's just a matter of waiting for stuff to spread. Now, the more dirt you have, of course, the the better things spread because it needs dirt to spread. Uh, it also has to do with light levels and stuff. We might even be able to make a watering can to speed it up. Uh, yeah, so if we take a bowl and some stone, then we can make that. 
So in order to make stone, we will take some charcoal and cook some cockles. cobblestone. Cockle, blah, blah. Cobblestone. Now, because this is Garden of Glass, it has the ability to just make bowls of water. Um, that's pretty nice as far as that goes. Um, they, they don't really have a lot of other uses. Okay, so that... But what you'd use them for is the... Uh, Petal Apothecary here, which, you know, requires um, uh, petals of some sort or mushrooms. And how would you get those, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Uh, it's not super challenging. So if you take, if you'll remember, if we take the living root and we put it in our crafting square, we get floral fertilizer. We're not going to do it just now. There's another way to do it. So remember we got this flower from uh, bone mealing the, the grass over here? Well, if we, uh, if we get two yellow and two red flowers, and we turn those into... Broken, so it only does like one point of damage. But if we turn the uh, uh, the, the flowers into yellow and uh, toss it there, yellow and red dye, and then combine two of each of those with a bone meal, we too can have. Oh, which way? Man of Steel. Wow. That's a good loot bag, really. Ah, man, I've totally gone over for this episode, so we're going to end it right here, and I'll get back to my, my half-assed explanation later. So, if you like the episode, leave a like. If you don't like the episode, don't leave a like. Comments, questions, concerns can go below. Uh, thanks for coming.